Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Vikas Nera, and in this video, I will tell you about Power MTM IP Rotation. This is the most powerful feature of Power MTM IP Rotation. Before we begin, if you need help setting up a server or have any questions, you can contact me via WhatsApp or phone. Yesterday, I made a video on Power MTM Mail Server. In that complete video, I installed two servers on the same machine and demonstrated how to achieve a perfect 10 out of 10 score on Mail Tester. Now, in this video, let's learn about IP rotation. I set up this DPS with multiple additional IPs. There's an affiliate link for the host in the description below. If you purchase through it, I'll receive a commission. You'll get the same price whether you use my link or go through Google. However, if you use my link, I'll be happy to assist you with any issues you might encounter. Here we have the primary IP and the assigned IP. I'll first demonstrate that the primary IP is working, while the additional IPs aren't yet functional because they haven't been added to the server. I've entered this IP along with my username and password. For this demo, I'll send an email here. I'll send an email, and the messages will arrive here shortly. As you can see, the email has arrived. Now, I'll try using this additional IP, but the email won't go through because it hasn't been added to the server yet. Now, let's begin the actual IP rotation process. First, you need to log into Potty. This is my primary IP. I'll enter it here and log in using this private key. Click Open to proceed. At the login, make sure to enter your credentials. Now I'll enter my password. I'm now logged in as root. Next, you'll need to run a simple command. Use the cd command to navigate to the desired folder. To go to a specific folder, use the cd command. For example, to access the slash etc slash sysconfig folder, you'd run this command. I'll copy the folder path from here. You'll find all the necessary commands in the description box. After pressing enter, run the ls command to list all files in that folder. These are all the files in that folder. The important file for us is this one, which I'll copy from here. This file is crucial for us. We need to make copies of this file. In this video, we'll perform IP rotation with these two IPs above. If you have two IPs, you'll create two copies. If you have four IPs, you'll create four copies, and so on. Leave a small space here. This is the main file. To make a copy of it, use the cp command. cp stands for copy.
Specify which file you want to copy and what you want to name the copy. You need to copy this file and name it accordingly. You can do this manually through the file manager as well, but using the command line is easier. Since you have two IPs, you'll create two files here. Here are the two commands. I'll run the first one, then the second. Now I'll run the ls command again to show you that both files have been created. This was the main file, and these are the two we just created. Now, navigate to the slash etc slash sysconfig slash network scripts folder. You need to access this folder slash etc slash sysconfig slash network scripts. I'll refresh the file manager here. This is the main file. Now that we've copied and created new files, let me show you what's inside the main file by editing it. In this file, you'll see the primary IP which is our main IP. Keep this as is, and in the first file you created, copy your first additional IP and replace the IP address here. Then, change the device name to match your file name, in this case, 1. If you're using three additional IPs, you'll need to add each IP here. After editing the file name, save it. It seems it didn't save correctly the first time. It's saved now. Next, I'll edit the second file and add the same elements. I'll copy the IP from here and paste it here. The connection keeps dropping, so please bear with me. I'll paste the IP here and update the file name. You need to make these three changes, then save the file. Now I'll double check if the changes were saved. This is the end of the second file. This file has also been saved. Now, we need to run a command to restart the network service. The command is service network restart. We also need to run IP address to confirm that the IPs we just set up are active and working. You can see our main IP here, and the two additional IPs we installed are also listed. They're both active now. Next, go to the slash etc folder, then to your PowerMTA folder, and edit the CONF file there.
Now that you've entered the IPs, add them to the Power MTA CONF file. If you add two IPs, paste both of them here. You can add all your additional IPs to the SMTP listener list here. If you encounter any issues, feel free to contact me via WhatsApp or leave a comment. If you want me to set up a server for you, just WhatsApp me. Add your essential listener here. The work above is now complete. Now, scroll down to the Begin Virtual MTA section. Copy everything from here to the end of the Virtual MTA section. Paste the section twice below because you have two IPs. You need to do this for each additional IP you're rotating. In the first section, it's written the first. Change the second one to the second because the first is our primary IP. For the second, add your IP here. That's done now. Then copy the third one and place it here. Here where it says virtual MTA first, since you've created three sections, first, second, and third, add those here as well. You should also add a subdomain. For example, server.domain.com. Add it here. I've added the subdomain ip1.domain.com. This helps me remember which is which. After this, I save the changes. After saving, I'll add the ip1 and ip2 subdomains that I've created in my cPanel. Click on Add Domain here. Enter ip1.domain.com and click Add. The subdomain has been added. Now let's do the same for ip2.domain.com. Click Add. Both subdomains have been added. Now let's set up the DNS records. I'll reload the page first. Let's start with IP1. Enter IP1 as the host name and enter the corresponding IP address here. Since this is for IP1, enter the first additional IP. I'll set the TTL to 60 to make it propagate quickly. For the IP2 subdomain, enter IP2 as the host name and its corresponding IP address here. I've copied the IP and I'll paste it here. Set the TTL to 60 as well. I've created my subdomains and connected them to their respective IPs. You can also set up DKIM for each domain, or you can add a catch-all domain and configure everything there.
Now, let's talk about how you can monitor this IQ rotation. Look at the max message rate setting here. You can set it to 1000 or leave it at the default value. This IP will be used for an hour and then it will switch to the second IP. After switching to the second IP, it will use that for an hour or until the limit is reached, then switch to the third one. The IPs will keep rotating like this. Now, I'll demonstrate if everything is working correctly. We need to test it for a few seconds. I'll copy this domain and paste it here. But before that, I need to restart Power NTA. I'll run the Punda restart command here. It's reconnecting again. It has reconnected. After running the Punda restart command, Power NTA has been restarted. Now we'll test the first IP, this one, because this IP was connected to the subdomain of our IP1. Now I'll test it by sending an email. Look, the mail was sent successfully. It will arrive here shortly. It has arrived now. I'll open this email to show you. We can also test the second one here. Its domain was IP2. Let's test this one as well because the IP2 subdomain was connected to this IP. I'll send this email from here and the mail is going through successfully. Here it shows all these details. So both setups are working. I'll also check by using a side IP to confirm that these additional IPs work on all domains. Okay, it's going through this one as well. And if I do it on this IP, it's going through this one too. So all my work is complete here. My IP rotation is working. I had added two additional IPs to the server, which are now working for me. The emails have also arrived from both of them. Hearing monitoring or editing you need to do here, you can do that. Remember to save after editing and then restart the service. Only then will it work. I just added two, but you can add as many as you have. Copy it here and enter your IP there. If you have any problems related to this or want me to create a server for you, you can contact me on WhatsApp. If you're buying hosting, please consider purchasing through my affiliate link. You'll get the same price whether you buy it elsewhere or through my affiliate link. I'll receive some commission, which will help me. If you purchase through my link, I'll try to help you with any problems you face. So friends, that's all for this video. If you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe. Many more videos related to email marketing are coming soon. So, thanks for watching.